Hey folks, if you followed me on Instagram or listened to my podcast or any of my other YouTube videos, you'll know that I've been waiting on a bandsaw to be delivered to my shop and I finally have my forever bandsaw. This is the Hammer N4400 made by Felder. It's a fantastic bandsaw. So I wanna document the process of setting up the bandsaw, installing the accessories, the mobile base. Um, I've got some extension wings to install, a miter gauge, a circle cutting jig, and I've, I've got a really cool accessory and it is the replaceable head to allow you to turn your bandsaw into a belt center and I cannot wait to show you how to do that and I can't wait to use it. Uh, so far I'm extremely impressed with the bandsaw but I want to get a few months in and I'll give you a full review of the bandsaw but in this video I'm going to be covering um, setting up and assembling the bandsaw getting it ready to use. It's pretty straightforward so let's get started. To begin with I want to talk about how impressed I was with the packaging of the bandsaw. It was pretty much damage proof with the 2x4 crate. It came wrapped in plastic as you can see here but I took it off before shooting the video. To get the bandsaw free from the crate, I took the drill driver and removed the front braces followed by the same ones in the back. Finally, I can remove the A-frame brackets from the sides of the crate and then remove the remaining plastic and plywood boxes from the bandsaw. To free the table and the rip fence, I had to cut the straps that were holding it to the bandsaw. You want to remove the fence first since it could potentially fall if you start by cutting the strap around the table. So take note of that. I removed the two 2x4s in front of the saw and then I removed the bolts holding down the saw to the crate. I found that by placing the bandsaw on two 2x4s and for installing the mobile base to work extremely well. The two 2x4s are the perfect thickness to make installing the wheels extremely simple. I'm going to clean the tabletop before installing it on the bandsaw. I'm just gonna use some WD-40 to clean the oil. I'm gonna spray it on, let it set, and then wipe it off. And then after I clean the oil off of it, what I'm gonna do is use some paste wax right here to prevent any rusting. And you also wanna remove the packing grease on the rail. Using a 19 millimeter wrench and with a little bit of help from my assistant here, I installed the table to the trunnion using the four bolts. With the table installed, we now need to dial it in to make sure that it's 90 degrees. And as you can see, we're off a little bit down here at the bottom. At the top we're touching, at the bottom we're out. Now to fix this, we need to adjust this bolt. As you can see, it's touching the frame of the bandsaw. That is the positive stop, so we need to loosen the nut that's on there. And then we need to also loosen the clamp that's on the table, put the spanner wrench in here, turn it just a little bit until the bolt becomes free, lower the bolt just a little bit, and make sure that you lock it back in place. Adjust your square until it's just perfect. And I've got mine dialed in, let me see if I can change the camera angle here. It's touching here at the bottom. And if I go to the top, it's touching here at the top and it is perfectly 90 to the blade. So to keep it that way, what I'm going to do is refocus the camera and I'm going to tighten this bolt under here or tighten the nut rather so that when I adjust the table, I can always get it back to that positive 90 and make sure that's locked. Check the square one more time, and it's perfectly dialed in. We can install the fence now. It uh, comes pre-assembled, just slide it on. You may have to clean out a little bit of grease. But just slide it on the bar here. You can lock it in place, and it's not gonna go anywhere. Loosen the knob on the left, and it's gonna loosen this up a little bit so that you can slide the actual fence on. And the fence, you can put it in two different ways. You can do this way if you're resawing or lay it over on its edge if you need to get up and close to the blade. I'm gonna keep it in this position for now, but it's easy to adjust. Just loosen this knob, to slide it in place, and then tighten the knob back, and it's gonna pull the fence up close to the head. And then you can slide it 
lock it in place and that's not going to go anywhere. Now one item that your bandsaw comes with that I'm not showing you how to install are these leg levelers. In the next video I'm going to show you how to install the mobile base, but do know if you don't have the mobile base, you can use these uh, on each of the corners on the base. They have this threaded hole that you install this bolt. When you have your bands all leveled, tighten it in place, and it's going to be good to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned a thing or two. As you can see, setting up this bandsaw with a helper at the very beginning to get it off of the crate is really, really straightforward. A lot of the parts come pre-assembled. It only takes about an hour or two, and it will be up and running in no time. The next video is going to be about installing the mobile base. It's really, really simple to do. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next hammer video.